Hey, what's up guys? I'm here at the 2023 Hard Rock event in Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. And uh, in addition to a bunch of racing going on with thousands of competitors, there's also a huge expo area. So we're going to take a look around and see what the brands have got to show their brand new 2023 produce. Let's go. Right, so I'm Clark from Bird Cycle Works. This is our new Bird Aeris AM. Uh, it's our first carbon longer travel bike. It's 160 rear, 160 or 170 front end. Um, with this bike, we can run it full 29 as per this display bike, uh, or we can run a small wheel in the back, 27 and a half on the back as well. Uh, this bike built up here with a super deluxe, um, 170 mil Lyric, and mainly race face finishing components with the SRAM XXSL weighs in at 13 and a half kilos. So that's an enduro ready 13 and a half kilo bike. Um, super stoked to bring it to you now. We've been playing around and testing this for a little while and we all absolutely love it. I think it's gonna be a real game changer for Bird and uh, something very different to what we've what we've had previously. So yeah, when hope you, you all. Uh, Pre-orders are gonna go live for frame and shock sets in August and then complete bike builds will be available from uh, the early next year, super early next year. And this also is going to be the first 29 that we've done that has a small front triangle as well. So we're going to offer this in small 3 to XL and we've only done medium 3 to XL previously. Um, the default for the smalls will be a mullet, but you can run it at 29er if you want. Awesome. Neil from White Bikes, uh, we're here at Ardrock and this is our new prototype uh, E-Lite 150 Works. Uh, should be coming out the end of the year using the new Bosch SX motor, 400 watt hour battery, this is the new Powermore range extender as well. Um, we also do a 140 E-Lite version as well. Uh, works version comes in at 16.9 kilos. So we're going for that 55 newton meter torque, lightweight, full power, uh, 600 watt hour, um, peak power on the back as well. Uh, and we'll also do an RSX version as well below that. Um, like I say, coming out at the end of the year, small to XL. Brilliant, thank you. Hello everyone, Joe McEwen, owner of Starling Cycles. This is our new uh, Mega Murmur. So it's very similar to the old Murmur, but we have increased uh, the length of the swing arm. So it's going from 455 millimeters to four, sorry, 445 millimeters to 455 millimeters length. Increasing the length of it means we can use a, a full 230 by 65 shock and we can get 165 millimeters travel out of the rear. And then if you pair the 165 rear, with a 170 fork on the front, the 170 fork slackens it out a bit. It really makes it into a long travel, long travel version of the Murmur. Uh, the longer stays make it more stable. There's a little bit of compromise in pop, but if you're the kind of rider who stands in the middle of the, uh, in the middle of the bike and just tracks and carries speed, it, it works great for that. So the swing arms are actually UK made for this. Most of our swing arms are made in Taiwan. These ones, because it's smaller production batch, we're getting them made in the UK by another frame builder that we know. Um, and the swing arms are available now. We've got a few in stock. Um, front triangles we can make to batch quickly or we can make for, for demand quickly. So yeah, get in touch if you're interested. And, uh, Great, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, my name's Matt Schoen, and this is the Rimpact Tuned Mass Damper. Um, we've been developing this on and off for about two and a half years. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a really cool project that has caused massive headache, but it's been a really fun thing to kind of work on and, and learn and, uh, uh, and develop. So it's a tuned mass damper, which basically means that it's oscillating out of phase with the like frequencies and the forces that go through your bike. It'll sit inside your head tube and um, by moving out of phase, it effectively cancels out those forces. That's a really like dumbed down way to explain it. Um, but yeah, it is aimed at reducing the total amount of um, vibrations you feel and the total amplitude of the forces you feel whilst riding so that your bike feels smoother and thus you can ride faster, you stay off the brakes for longer. Um, so we've been developing it, like I said, for two and a half years and we've kind of finally got to a point where it seems to be working really well when we test it. So we've just uh, extended the testing to uh, like a placebo, like blind test where we have a bunch of riders ride it with a placebo version of it that they don't know is the, not the real thing uh, and just do timed laps over and over and over again uh, in the hopes that once we've got 
three, four, five hundred runs, like a whole lot of them, we can zoom out and say on a macro level, this is or isn't supplying a benefit for speed. But it's not all about speed as well. So if it doesn't turn out to do improve your speed, that's absolutely fine because it may be that we can reduce the total forces that the body is feeling in terms of vibration, which will reduce things like um, uh, arm pump, and if you are particularly sensitive to uh, vibrations, so if you're running things like rev grips, etc., this will really help you. Um, so yeah, it's all an exploratory prototype thing at the moment. We don't even know if it will come to market, but it's fun to work on. Awesome, Matt. Thank you very much. Excited nice. to see where it goes. Thanks, Hi, I'm Pat from Forbidden. This is our new Druid V2. It's our all singing, all dancing trail bike. It's 150mm travel on the front, it's 130mm travel on the back. But don't let that fool you, this bike will eat up any trail you can take it down. As you'll see, we have an idler on our bike. What does that do? That separates the pedal kickback from the suspension. So our bike is a high pivot, so the rear will only ever move backwards. So when you're going down choppy terrain, the rear wheel's moving out of the way of the bump, so it's giving you really, really good performance. This idler will stop any chain growth from that high pivot and the axle axle part, which is where the benefit is, that will stop the cranks kicking you in the feet. So you get really good suspension performance whilst uh, also staying fully in control on the pedals. Another unique thing about our bikes is we run uh, different chainstay lengths for our sizes, so every size has the same ratio front to back, so that everybody gets the same ride feel, whether you're a small or an XL bike rider, every bike feels the same, every size feels the same, should I say. Yeah, this is our new, our new trip. Awesome man, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, I'm Cy from Kotic Bikes and this is my Rocket Max, which is our enduro bike. Uh, so this is the Gen 4, the current generation bike. It's a 170 front, 160 rear, um, 63 and a half degree head angle, like long shot geometry, which we've introduced a few years ago. Uh, this is the biggest C5 size, so 520 reach, because I'm a pretty tall guy. Um, works real nice for me. Um, 29er front and rear, although we do a mullet option, and my bike is built up pretty much as our platinum build. So I've got titanium E-wings cranks, um, got, uh, we've got hunt wheels, we've got uh, axis drivetrain, I've got full custom NSR racing suspension front and rear, because um, I'm a tart and I like things that make me go faster without any more effort. Um, I've got Megura brakes, which I absolutely love, the MT7s. Um, what else have I got? Uh, flat pedals, one-up pedals, because uh, I like flat pedals, they like kind of make me ride a bit looser. And uh, real high-rise bars with Sam Hill written on them, because uh, hopefully a little bit will rub off. <laughs> Options for builds, like, so, start, so you can buy a frame only off us. Um, if you just want a frame or maybe a headset and a couple of bits, we can do everything from that upwards. Um, and we do everything from what we call our silver build, which is like a Shimano SLX. Um, sort of drivetrain and Megura MT5 brakes and just uh, Shimano wheels. Um, then we got to gold build which is XT and then we got the platinum build which has got the posh cranks and all sorts of toys like this. Uh, we've got full hope options in all the colours you want. Uh, we assemble every bike to order in the UK so it's your bike built for you. So if you want certain combination of parts let us know what it is. We'll probably be able to figure it out for you. Awesome man, thank you very much. No worries. I'm Elliot, I'm from Stash Products, um, here at Ard Rock 2023. Um, we're from a company called Stash Products and we've got our uh, Space Rail bike storage system on show here today. Uh, this is our ceiling mounted system and it essentially allows you to store more bikes in less space. Um, but also allows you to increase uh, the ability to get access to them. So you can hang your bikes up, slide them along, get to the bike you want, lift it off, put the other bikes back, increase your space saving, but still keeping really good access. Um, there's a couple of nice little features. When you lift the bike on and off, the, the hook won't move unless you've got weight on it. So if you touch the hook, it won't slide down a track or spin. As soon as you put the weight on it, it's allowed to, um, it's allowed to move. You can also spin the bikes on, on here. It's completely made in the UK, 100% UK manufacturing up in North Wales. Uh, we sell it all around the world. 
two year warranty. Um, check out our website at stashproducts.co.uk. Thank you very much. Cheers. Hi guys, I'm Ed from RAB. Um, going to be taking you through all our new riding range. Um, recently launched, launched in March this year for Spring Summer 23. Originally an uh, outdoor mountaineering brand, but got into the adventure bike space this year. So I should take you around and have a look. Let's go have a look. Cool. So we've got a rail of our products here that all the riders have been able to test out this weekend. So we'll go through some of that in just a sec. But we're really going into the tech behind our products, what makes us different. So we've got our Rab Lab set up and it's a bit of a training, training for the consumer to see why their gear is so technical and what we're doing. So over here we've got examples of DWR. So this is a good example of why we need to recoat our jackets. These days we've got to retreat them, it's really good to keep that up, keep the jackets breathing and beading well. Um, one of the most pro famous products that Rab do is down, uh, and as you can see here, we've got the down getting shaken. The jar at the front here is showing the Nick Wax hydrophobic down we use, basically showing if you were to get caught out, it doesn't matter, the down's not going to clump down. We do all the sleeping bags, great for bike packing and those big backcountry missions. Coming over this way, a bit of a test on our waterproof jackets, how we get that waterproof measurement. So we can pump this up and we can get a measurement to see how waterproof our jacket's going to be, basically how long we're going to stay dry on the trails. And over this side we've got all the magnification stations, so we get real geeky in depth how we weave and make all the fabrics, as well as a thermal imaging camera showing where our jackets lose heat and where we gain heat. So uh, and over here we've got a bit of a demo rail of clothing, so one of the highlights so far has been our kinetic riding jacket. The real game changer with this is how breathable it is. The weather here at Hard Rock this year has been changeable. Rain's on, rain's off. You can just keep this jacket on all day and crack on. Another real cool highlight is the Cinder Phantom. This is a 94 gram fully waterproof piece with a 20,000 hydrostatic head and a 20,000 MVTR. And there's a nice one just over here on this YT, all packed away under there. So you can just attach it to the frame of the bike and it's there when you need it. So yeah, that range has launched this year, so it's really new. Uh, we're just catering for anything from gravel biking to a big adventure back, back country mountain biking. Awesome man, thank you very much. Yeah, cheers Rob. So this is, I'm Chris from Deviate, and uh, I'm the technical director here. And this is our Lowlander, uh, where we have titanium printed parts, titanium tubes, and a thermal plastic composite down tube, or seat tube. Uh, it's kind of a born of a project for trying to think about where we're going to be in the future in terms of sustainability and people are asking that question of where does it come from, how much carbon is produced to make it. Uh, we're looking at this as a, you can recycle every aspect of the frame and even the, the tubing we can reuse and repurpose into forgings or other parts on the bike. Uh, so yeah, it's a really interesting project for us. It's the first step in a long, a long journey to make it into production, but uh, we're really excited about it. Thank you very much, it looks awesome. Thank you. Andy from Zori Fisher, the UK distributor for Norco Bicycles. Uh, really excited to announce a new bike this weekend, uh, Ardrock Enduro. So off the back of the really successful fluid uh, trail bike, we've got the new fluid carbon. So yeah, really good progressive geometry, great all around trail bike. Um, got a few really cool little features. So Norco are really hot on uh, getting the size and the setup guys. So they've got a new ride line system which allows the setup to be perfect for every rider depending on their size. So we've got very chainstay lengths between the sizes and also variable dropper length. So ensure every rider is on the right size bike. Uh, it's 130, 140 mil tra travel. Um, got four pot brakes. You've got enduro spec tires. Uh, just yeah, really good, fun, progressive trail bike. Awesome. Um, got some great reviews last year on the Alley one, so yeah, building off the success of that. When can people get one? So they're landing in the UK in September. Um, so yeah, go to your local bike shop and jump on norco.com and uh, find your local dealer. Great, thank you very much. Cheers. So, hey, it's uh, Bryn from PE's. Uh, we've got the whole fast trail tool wrap. It's not released yet, but we're just kind of doing a little sneak peek of it this weekend. Um, so we've rethought the wrap uh, strap combination and big change with this. So the strap and the wrap are completely separate. The wrap is made of waterproof material, welded seam, super durable. Nice big pocket in there for trail essentials. Waterproof pocket for split links, money, whatever you want to get in there. So once you've taken it off, you can stick it back on there for like nice quick access on the trails. You can put an inner tube underneath the strap, so the inner tube stays on there, keeps the tools nice and quickly accessible. Um, they would come in green, grey, black, 
reflective print on here as well for like dusky rides, keep safe. Uh, 35 quid, it'll be launched on the 3rd of August. Go get one. Thank you very much. Nice one. Hi, I'm Andy Sykes and I work for Privateer and Hunt and this is the Privateer E161, our latest e-bike, well it's our first e-bike, just launched recently. Um, it's a full aluminium bike, 6061 T6 aluminium. It's mullet. We've built this to feel just like the 161 and to make it feel like the 161 we had to go with a mullet because obviously the motor pushes the back end a little bit out. So we've got similar wheelbase to the 161. We've got uh, size specific chain stays like the 161. So as the front center grows, the rear grows a little bit too. So you get a really nice balanced and confident ride. Uh, it's got the Shimano EP801 motor. So it's the updated motor and a 631 hour battery in there too. Everything on it that can be metal is metal. So we've got aluminium wheels that are e-bike specific. We've got an aluminium bash guard, aluminium cover on the door, easy to access cable and hoses. What else have we got? Uh, slightly slacker seat tube angle on this because obviously you've got uh, a little bit of torque there. You've got 85 newton meters of torque. So we've got a little bit slacker so you can get a bit more traction over the back. This is not the spec that you get. You get a better spec, you get downhill casing tires and you get a performance elite fork and the retail price is £5,999. But for Ride Rock, it's £4,999. And that's it. Great, thank you very much. No problem. Well then, that has been Ride Rock 2023 in the pits. Hope you guys have enjoyed checking out this video and seeing some of the new products that are ready to hit the market. I certainly have enjoyed seeing them up and close and personal. Be sure to give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. Leave us a comment, let us know the most interesting product that you've seen along the way. Subscribe to the channel, see more awesome content from awesome events like Hard Rock. Cheers for watching guys, catch you out on the trails.